everyone. Hey, what's up? I'm Stev. I'm Sheldon. This is Sheldon. <laughs> Sheldon is here with us today, and he is our pro makeup artist. And I'm Stev. I'm the social media manager here at Facetune, and that means I get to get my makeup done. So as you can see, I have half a face mm -hmm. of a spring glam look, right? That's what we're yeah, calling it. Yeah, totally. And then this side is just my regular boring face. And um, and Sheldon here is going to show us how to do it and how he does it. He's going to do it live. So if you guys have any questions about makeup, or you have any want recommendations about something, or you're trying to create a certain look, you should ask it now and like us and share this with your friends. And uh, and let's get started. Right, I cool. think. So for springtime, uh, colors um, you always want like a pop of color. Uh, corals on the cheeks, or like a nice little like pink uh, pop of color on the cheeks is really nice. And then we did just like a pretty soft like crease and lid, and then we did like the nice pop of like blue um, on the lower lash line just to give that nice like pop. Um, for the skin, we did like a, a light to medium coverage, I would say. Um, for springtime, you don't want to do anything like too heavy with like the humidity and everything. You definitely don't want something that's going to be too heavy on the skin. Right. Uh, start to sweat in the spring. You what? Start to sweat in the exactly. spring. Exactly. And then that's why we use like a primer. I use this primer uh, for her face just to really keep everything intact. So while she's going through the hot weather. Primer is something I don't really know about. Oh, really? No. Oh, primer is mean, like a makeup What mask. is it exactly? Um, well, just like when you like paint a wall, uh, you use a primer before. Right, and that it's I like know. the same thing for your face. Okay. Um, and uh, it's like a jet, it looks sort of like a serum. So, well, well, this one, it is sort of like that. Are this they always like clear? A, um, some of them. Some of them will have like a green undertone, a counteract redness. There's many different ah, primers. Okay. Um, the one we use today um, has like these gold flecks in it that I give a lot that. of gradients. It's very cool. It's kind yeah. of like gold schlager, but for your Yeah, skin. right? Totally. Exactly. <laughs> well, sometimes you like switch it out. Uh, but like, uh, for springtime and for summertime, you always want to have like nice, radiant, like luminous skin. So I use this primer. It helps uh, smooth out any like fine lines or wrinkles, and then it also gives that radiant glow to the skin. But it also creates a barrier between your skin and the makeup, so it really will adhere the makeup to your skin, so it lasts all day and all night. So definitely a must, and also okay. eye primer, totally a must. It's gonna eye help. Primer. And that's different than on. face primer. Or you can yeah. use the same thing. Uh, no, you want something uh, different. Um, a face primer is gonna give more of a slip to the skin. Okay. Uh, eye primer, you're gonna want something so that's that more glowy. Exactly. Okay. And um, you're gonna want something for the eyes that's gonna really uh, keep the shadow on and prevent it from creasing throughout the day. Um, also right. for eyeliner. That happens to me a lot that I get like creases right here because my yeah. eyes are so. I don't really have a lid. Like I'm always jealous of girls that have like an actual <laughs> eyelid. I feel like yeah. mine doesn't really. But you have a little bit of, like a hooded eyes but yeah, you always just go eye. a little bit above the crease just to open up your eye okay but um uh an eye primer is really gonna help um is my you eye know keep everything very up smooth here <laughs> also these eyelashes really help yeah, we just open up my eye that was, one eye. that's pretty awesome if you guys have never done fake eyelashes yeah do it totally so okay. let's get started so let's get started yeah okay so first of all you guys just have snapchat right Yes, we have Snapchat. Yeah. We are new on Snapchat. So if you guys have Snapchat, you should come check us out. We are. You can follow us here. Is it here? Did I get it right? Yeah. <laughs> You're telling me I got it right. So you can follow us. We're Facetune app on Snapchat. Uh, one word. And you can also try copying our, uh, taking a picture of our Snap code. It might be a little too small. I'm not sure it's going to work. But you can check it out and try it. And we're going to be giving a lot of behind the scenes kind of stuff. So if you want to also snap us things that you do with Facetune, we would love to see what you guys are doing. And basically, we're just trying to build up a community on Snapchat like uh, of all our Facetune fans. So, so come check us out. Yeah. So should we get started? Yeah. Okay, cool. So I'm going to start with the eye. Uh, I'm going to use... Right over here, this mid-tone brown color. I don't know if you can see it. This yeah. mid-tone one over here. I'm just gonna put that Did one. Did you stick the these in? Like yeah, there. It's this is like a Z palette. It's called. So it's basically like this empty, like magnetic palette, and I just what? like put everything. It's a magnet. Yeah. I was actually wondering magnetic. this before, and I didn't yeah. ask. Whoa. So it's like I just like popped everything so it's into like, here. It's like um, that one's like a just sticky. for me. But it's like yeah, exactly. I made this palette thank, just for you, thank stuff. Thank you, <laughs> Sheldon. <laughs> Anytime. So actually, before I go with the mid-tone brown, I'm going to put this uh, like white color all over the lid just to set the primer that we already laid down. Okay. In the meantime, I can read some of these comments. What uh -huh. do we have? Someone named Joe is saying good luck to you. Oh, thank so. you, Joe. <laughs> You've already done half my face, so I mean, you're pretty okay. Yeah, we've done about I don't think you'll mess up. What else do we have? Right, let's see how it's all going to like tie together. John is asking if you can Facetune videos too. 
So that's something that you can't do yet uh, with Facetune, but obviously it's something that we're thinking about and something that would be super awesome. That would be amazing. Facetuning videos. Oh so God, basically, stay tuned. I literally would be using yeah, that like, on the daily. Yeah, tell us about your use of Facetune. Um, it's actually really funny. I've been using Facetune like really literally since it came out. Um, anyone who knows me or is friends with me literally knows that if anyone ever takes a picture on someone else's like phone or camera besides my own, I always say you better Facetune it or don't post it anywhere. Uh, I'm obsessed with it. It made it my life a lot easier. I used to use like Photoshop a lot. Right. But it's just it's so simple. And, like, so you know Photoshop. Yeah. But it's totally. just easier to do. Totally. And like I would have to like email it to myself and then like upload it on my computer and then right. like and there's so many different tools and layers and like Facetune just makes it like super simple and easy, especially if like I just want to post a photo quickly on like Instagram, um, or Facebook, like instead of like sending it to my computer and doing that whole thing, I could just do it right. like super easy on my phone. So I love that. So what's your sort of workflow when you're using Facetune? Um, I love my number one. The first thing I use is smooth. I have to smooth out my skin and make myself look like I'm naturally flawless. <laughs> uh, I mean, I am naturally yeah, flawless, you but are. you know, obviously. Uh, but um, it really just like smooths out everything um, and makes my skin look really good, especially because like I have some texture and stuff like by like my beard area. Right. So it really smooths everything out. And then teeth. Um, I mean the whiten feature for my teeth. <laughs> I can't imagine having a beard. Oh my god, it's so annoying. Well, I'm actually getting rid of mine. <laughs> I'm in the process of that. Wait, I'm you doing can, laser. you're doing laser to get yeah. it off? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, because the makeup um, stays much nicer without the beard, and also right. I really like sensitive skin, so that every time I shave, I always get You get like red, like red bumps. Exactly. I mean, that happens to me also, yeah. but not on my face. <laughs> Just to clarify. Yeah. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> when you're shaving your beard in the morning? When I shave my beard in the morning, yeah. yeah. Okay, so you use smooth, you use whiten to whiten your teeth. Yeah, course. and then I use details. Um, like detail for like my eyes, um, on like my hair. Um, also if like on my earrings or like if I'm wearing like any jewelry or anything, anything I really want to like highlight in the picture. Right. Um, and then after that, I like to use like patch if I have any like little um, blemishes, blemishes or anything just right. to get like, rid of them. Um, I'll use like a filter, um, just to make me look even more flawless. Right. And just, you know, use I, I use basically almost every single feature. I would say out of, like, all of them, my top three are smooth, um, whiten, and detail. I would it's say probably for sure. you and every other person who uses the yeah, right. I think those are definitely our most used features. Seriously, it's like if I was lost on, or if I was trapped on a, a stranded so on island, island, island and you those can the, only pick three, three tools. Three Facetune tools. Those are the three tools that I would definitely pick. <laughs> what about you? What are your favorite ones? My favorite tools, okay, well, definitely filters of some sort mm -hmm. because I feel like I like to give like, I don't know, it just sort of, it's just so easy. I feel like I'm pretty busy and like it totally. just doesn't all around uh, like sort of face up. I also really like conceal and face tune too because mm -hmm. I have bags under my eyes like naturally. I think I was born with them. <laughs> so we all do. conceal we all do. is definitely one of those tools. And then um, heal or patch for blemishes. Yeah, yeah, totally. Because um, you know, you never know what can happen. You wake up one morning and suddenly. Literally, you just wake up and you're you just have like, a one like, like I have one like right before. over here, and it just like appeared, and I'm like out of nowhere. And overnight. even when you you cover it with the makeup, but like still you can totally. sort of tell, sometimes. right? Because you could cover it with makeup, but like it's still a razor yeah, bump. You're it's never gonna still be able there. To it's like you're, yeah. totally, yeah. No, it's definitely like those are the best tools. I would say like those are like the bare minimum. Like if you're gonna need to have like a bare minimum, or you just want something like quick and easy, and you just want to edit a picture fast, you don't want to spend a lot of time. Those are like the three best ones for sure. Right. So, if I was on a desert island, I would bring with me conceal, filters, and heal. And you would bring... What about the new glitter one? I really like that glitter one, Glitter is would, very cool, that but glitter I feel like fun. if I was on that island, glitter is probably like... <laughs> like, I wouldn't order, like, you know, a steak dinner if I was on a desert island. I would yeah. probably bring just, like, tomatoes and rice. Yeah, so glitter is more the equivalent of a steak, I feel like. If yeah, you well, get my drift I, well, here. Well, I feel like glitter makes everything better. So, like, you know, you could just, like, throw right. in glitter. It'll get your mood better. Like, you're like, totally. well, I'm probably going to die here alone, but... <laughs> you know, but at least you have your glitter, so... But at least I have my glitter. <laughs> Look up for me. Oh, and now I'm just taking uh, these two colors over here. Could you use... I don't know if I can see. Um, these two, I'm just, like, mixing them both in the back of my hand. And that's what I'm going to use in her lower lash line, just to really uh, make it pop. And also, since she has brown eyes, like, those blue tones are really going to help uh, bring out her brown eyes. Which is always good. Look out for me. Okay. Chin down a little bit. 
So wait, what color are you doing? Blue? It's like it's like a turquoise I'm mixing with sort of like a minty green. Wait, do you want to know blue and brown eyes reminds me when I... Do you remember the OC? Uh, yeah. Okay. So, really yeah, so you honest. remember Summer from the OC? Yeah. So basically I wanted to be here when I was younger. Probably half <laughs> of my, you know, generation did too. Right, and totally. anyway, so she had brown eyes and she started wearing like dark blue eyeliner. And, Ooh, and it was like know. a big thing, like wearing blue eyeliner instead of brown or black eyeliner and even to this day i totally. still have blue eyeliner that i bought when the oc was popular like i won't give it up because it like just reminds it. yeah it's like my oc line totally it's like nostalgia so i feel like no but i feel like it goes along with like blue and brown do go good together like also like when you get totally. dressed navy and brown totally. like definitely they always good, they complement each other really nicely flow. for sure definitely so this is sort you're doing like an exaggerated blue underneath, right? Yeah, just like underneath like the lash line, just to really make uh, everything pop. And that's going to be like a nice pop of color. So you don't even have to spend a lot of effort Can on the eyes without really making it, it like pop. Is it pop? Do you guys see it? <laughs> we can't tell if they can see it, but they can probably see it. So how, you've been a makeup artist for like five and a half years? Yeah, I've been doing makeup professionally now for about five and a half years, but I've always loved makeup. It's something that I've loved ever since I was like a little boy. It's, I've loved it. I don't know what I would do without makeup. <laughs> um, and when did you, do you want to hear a funny story actually that I'm thinking yeah. about? It's actually a little bit sad and a little bit funny though. Okay. So when I, <laughs> okay. so my mom has diabetes and when I was like two and a half. Is that, is that the sad part? Yeah. I was going to say, I'm no, like, that's wait, horrible. Wait, wait, no, okay. it's not that sad. When I was two and a half, she like had a reaction, which means like she was like passed yeah. out. And for like, like a half an hour until my dad came home and in this, during this time I went into her purse and I drew with lipstick all over the walls, all over her bed, oh, all my over God. her. So while she was having a reaction, you she ran into like her purse and out. Everything. But I was two and a half years old. I mean, I don't remember this happening. Anyway, and then my parents had like, were wondering if I was going to be like a makeup artist when I grew up because I was like, Ooh. the lipstick was like the first thing I went to and it wasn't like. Maybe we could like team up together one time. So, <laughs> so that's a fun fact for my life. That's cool. Uh, um, what do you wear like on like an everyday basis? Like, what would you say is like your go-to like makeup routine? My go-to, I wear bronzer because yeah. I feel like, especially in the winter, I'm super pale. Yeah, it's the story of my life. I'm like Edward Cullen from Twilight, literally. You actually kind of look like. Okay, oh, there's really? there's something it's just, similar. It's the whiteness. No, there's something I feel like similar. I'm even whiter than he is. No, there's something very similar about really? you and Edward Cullen. It's so funny. Now that you said it, I didn't think until just now. <laughs> You're like, okay, it's Edward. Um. What else do I do? I also, I like to put, like, eyeliner at the outside of my eyes because I have very, yeah. like, small eyes, so mm. kind of to make them bigger. Yeah. Um, and then usually, like, lip gloss, just to make my lips shiny. I don't usually do a color because, I don't know, it doesn't mm. usually stay anyway. A lip gloss, yeah. No, lip gloss is really, like, easy, and it's, like, not, like, heavy, so it's, like, a good, like, everyday, you know, just, like, quick little thing. Kind of thing. Like, I feel like, even, like, if you're, like, rushing out the door, you just throw on mascara and lip gloss, and even that, like, two-second thing will really just, like, make such a difference, I feel like. I used to actually not ever wear mascara. Really? And, yep. I feel like that's, like, the one it thing It was a thing, wears. and then, recently, I discovered, because my eyes sort of, like, tear naturally, mm, and then recently, true. I discovered waterproof mascara, which is mm. totally different. Yeah, And totally. uh, And my problems were solved, and now I do also wear mascara. Usually, if I'm doing sort of more of a... More of uh, like at night or like if I'm going to work sometimes, mm -hmm. but <clears throat> usually I, I save the mascara. So like, like special occasions. Yeah, so I look different than I usually do, you know? Right? So. It's like, ooh, what did she do? She, and then you're just like, I woke I'm up I'm going to check our comments right now. Okay. No. Sarah is saying that you're, Sarah Bardus is saying you do an amazing job. Thank oh, you, thank Sarah. You. We love the compliments. <laughs> and she's also saying you should show how you can get the same effect with Facetune. Like, split the screen. You actually mm -hmm. are onto our plan because we're actually going to take a picture later and then show you how you can make this this face look even better with face. Yeah. So just wait for Perfect that. yourself, yes. babe. coming soon. I'm just going to go in with a brow powder. I'm going to use a mix of these two, and then I'm going to go in with that one just to fill in her brows. If you guys have any more questions for Sheldon especially or about facing or about anything, uh, ask them live. I'm reading this iPad over here. And, uh, and also like and share us. Yeah. Because... Because we we love you. Because yeah, because we really <laughs> like you and uh, yeah, spread the love. Totally. Okay, so right now you're filling my eyebrows. Yeah, you really want to do it like lightly in the front. You wanna like so I usually like will flick a little bit. I like to do little flicks instead of doing harsh like strokes. I do little flicks to really mimic like. So you use brow an eyebrow powder. You don't use a pencil. Because I have I a, pencil, use a pencil, but a... I feel like it's very old school. 
Yeah, I just feel like pencils, like, like there are a couple of pencils that, like, that are more wax-based now that are on the market um, that I like because they're not as harsh as a traditional pencil. And I feel like with a traditional pencil, like, no matter how light hands you are, it always just looks very, like, yeah. harsh. So I, I like to use powders. Um, if can I'm, you use eyeshadow? Or yeah, yeah, totally. You can use, like, okay. um, like a taupey eyeshadow. Um, is there like a, a difference tupon. between eyeshadow and eyeshadow powder or it's just like a marketing thing no, um, I, mean, I work in marketing know, so like yeah, I well, feel I mean, like it's kind of a marketing thing I feel, I feel no, but like, like there is but not this that much one, it's like it's like the, the size of an eyeshadow but it comes with two different colors because you want to do this one more in like the front and then you use the darker color to really add more yeah. definition uh, okay yeah I'm mixing those two I'm just using the other one for the definition though if you guys have any questions about eyebrow any powder spring versus spring makeup questions or anything let us know yes let us know is it easier if, like, you hold the iPad? Um, you want to do that? No, this so is actually easy. easy. I'm afraid I'll answer. drop it. <laughs> okay, so what, what, you've worked with Bobby Brown, or you worked in a... Uh, yeah, I've worked, I've worked with Bobby Brown. Um, I worked um, for the brand for about a year and a half, um, but I, my main thing is freelancing. Did um, you ever meet Bobby Brown? Yeah. What's, yeah, she's cool. She's really, like? she's really, really sweet. So now, would like you would think when you hear like a big like yeah. you know name, and she's like super like like short and like really cute and petite and like super 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 sweet like and down modest, to earth. Yeah. Like not at all like like you would think like she owns this huge branch. Like be this like super like oh my gosh you know, but she's so down to earth. Like if I was on the street, I didn't know like like who you she was. Imagine. I would never know. Like she dresses very casual. She's like super chilled, and it's like more than just makeup. Like she has like a whole like um lifestyle thing like she's really like she all about eating healthy and exercise and just like you know being fresh and glowy and just like she's all about like the everyday girl i like her so if you're watching bobby brown sheldon says hi and he loves yeah you. hey bobby <laughs> it was actually that was like the first makeup i ever owned personally it was when i was um uh traveling i flew through like uh, heathrow airport and one of the people bobby brown stopped me there and the first makeup products i ever owned was like her concealer and um, so it's funny, like, years later, I ended up working for her. My first makeup product was actually, well, does nail polish count as a makeup product? I mean, a beauty product, I guess. Okay, yeah. so my first makeup product was this. I wasn't allowed to wear makeup, uh, to wear nail polish when I was younger. Really? Yeah, my father was very against it. So <laughs> I bought this, like, it was clear with silver sparkles. Oh, yeah. From Cheap John's. Do you know what Cheap oh, John's is? Oh, my God, no, what's that? So it's like a store in New York. I, I don't know. It was very, like, cheap. It's like a like a discount store. Kind yeah. Of. And it was 97 cents, I think, if I remember correctly. It was, like, oh, in, like, God. this bin for Halloween. And I bought it, and I was like, there's no way. Like, my dad is not that observant. Like, he'll never notice. And he noticed. And he noticed, and he got so mad at me. Oh and God. I was like, but it's just sparkles. Seriously. And then, like, yeah, six didn't... months later, he gave it up because, like, there was okay, no okay. way I was going to give up. You know, I was sparkles? an American girl. What am totally. I going to do? Totally. You're not going to give up those sparkles. So. So that's why I flash trapped in that desert island. I'm totally going to bring glitter with me because you could, See, it makes maybe everything I will. better. Maybe that's actually my natural you. instinct. It really makes everything better. Glitter makes everything better. Just dump glitter on anything. That's it. That's what I mean. I want to perfect the arch before I set it with a gel. So what is it? An arch makes your, like, frames your eye better? Well, something? eyebrows frame the face. Like, totally. Like, they, they frame the entire face. Like, if you if you change your eyebrow shape, it would change, like, your entire look. It's really crazy. Like, um, I remember when I was, like, in makeup school, they um, showed us, like, a whole, like, list of pictures with all these different celebrities where they didn't have eyebrows. And they look like aliens. It's like it's yeah, so funny how like such a like small little alien. thing makes the biggest difference. Like just filling in your eyebrows a little bit will make the biggest difference. Especially when you wear shadow and stuff, it's really gonna help um, frame the whole area. And what are you doing now? Oh, right like now I'm using an eyebrow thing. gel. Ah, because it's like cold. a I knew yeah, there was something just there. like a clear little like gel just to comb through the eyebrows. Um, combing through them is gonna help like disperse the product. Um, and the gel is gonna help set the hairs in place so they don't like move around throughout the day, which is really important for spring. Because you're not going to want your eyebrow hairs, like, getting all bushy. Because when you walk out the door with really pretty makeup, then hours later you see, like, your eyebrows hair, but yeah. it's not that cute. Yeah. And it's going to help set everything in place. So if you guys have any questions, don't forget to ask. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking to you even though I can't see you. And if you have any, like, makeup questions. Yeah, if you have any makeup questions, Sheldon will be more than happy to answer mm -hmm. them. Totally. And I'm it's checking looking. right here so we can see. Someone is asking about tinted gel. What do you have to say about tinted gel? 
Um, I, I like to use tinted gel sometimes. Um, the only thing is, is whenever you take the, um, the spoolie, like this thing, out of the tube, I always like to wipe the, um, the back of it on the back of my hand. Otherwise, there'll be like too much product clumped up onto the actual spoolie. And when you brush through your eyebrows, you're going to end up with some of it like on the skin and stuff. Um, but overall, like a tinted gel, it's like easy and fast. So if you have like naturally pretty full eyebrows and you just want something that's like easy it's and out like the door. It's like mascara for your eyebrows? Literally. That's literally what it is. But instead of like being black, it will, they'll have like a color that's more like, you know. Dark brown. Yeah, dark brown or like, or like if someone's more blonde and like a, like kind of like an ashy, like a lighter brown or like blonde. Spoolie is a really funny word. Is that the yeah, professional word? Yeah, the name of it, yeah. Spoolie? Well, what else would you call it? I mean, I guess mascara ones, yeah, I guess you call it. But that's it, what it's, I would it's call it. Spoolie, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I'm saying like, because, you know, I have fun like this. It's like a brush, but it's like a spoolie brush, yeah. Interesting. <laughs> I learned something new today. Spoolie. Right, the spoolie. Okay. So then I'm just going to take a little bit of eyeliner. I like to use uh, like this liquid liner, and it's um, water resistant or waterproof, and it really helps... Uh, to find the eye, we're just gonna do a very thin line because she has like more hooded eyes. So we're just gonna give a thin line just to really give that eye. definition. And if we do too thick of a line, it's gonna distract from that blue. So we're just gonna do a little bit of eyeliner just to really define the eye. And it's also gonna help make the lashes look thicker because you put the black right at the root of the lashes. So it really it's gonna make her lashes look fuller and nicer. We just got a comment from Katrina who said she just went through chemo. And what do you yeah. recommend for regrown eyebrows? First of all, Katrina, we're so excited that you're, yeah. it sounds like you're doing good or better. So, um, I would say, um, a good thing to use would be, oh my God, I just got like eyeliner all over my hand. Sorry. Oh my God. Um, good thing to use to regrow eyebrows, Latisse. Latisse is um, very good. You just have to be careful because if it accidentally gets anywhere else in your face, you could grow here, there. No. Um, yeah. Uh, so Latisse is definitely going. And also there's this company that I've used, um, called New Lash. I think it's like N-U instead of N-E-E-W. And they make like a I think I've really heard good of eyebrow lash. serum. Yeah. And they also have one for eyelashes. Um, I'm getting this like all over my hands. <laughs> Katrina, thank you for watching. Yeah, thank we you We hope so you're much. in remission and we were yeah. going to send some love and health Sending your way. Sending only positive yes, vibes. Yes, positive vibes your way. Okay, look down that way. Look down. I'm sorry. No, it's all good. Sorry, guys. And it's really hard for me to talk when I'm doing my name. So... I feel like doing makeup is almost like painting. Literally. Like, are you, can you, are you like an artist also kind of? Um, like, can you draw? I've always like... loved drawing, but I'm not, <laughs> not a really good drawer. Okay. Um, I think my drawing got better once I went to makeup school, because in the school I went to, um, we had to do like a lot of drawing in class, um, to really learn about like, um, light, like, okay. and like to learn about like highlights and shadows, because it really applies in makeup. Ah, they make you draw in class? Yeah. Like, we would have like all these different assignments and stuff. Yeah, and I was like, oh my god, like when I first started, I was like, I don't even know how to draw like stick figures, I don't know how the heck I'm going to do this. But uh, it worked out, I mean, I passed, so I guess like I did something right, so that was good. What kind of like, they said like draw uh, like a still life object, or? So we would do like, we would do um, like one of the projects we were able to pick the person, and we could do like any style we want, and then like other ones they would have like, you know, um, get a picture of like a 50s inspired like, um, you know, look, so like, you know, stuff like that, like down. Gonna... And then you drew like with like charcoal or pencil or uh, pencils and like color pencils. Yeah, that's cool. It's definitely never the first that. Time I did that. Where did you go to makeup school? Uh, makeup designery in New York. It was incredible. I yeah. loved it. Yeah, it's definitely like one of the best decisions I ever made was to go to that school. Um, one of my friends went there and she told me that I had to go there. So I was like, okay. And I went there and like, it's just great. Like, and they really focus on makeup. It, like I was going to go to cosmetology school, but it's really like basic makeup. Right. Um, so this, they really teach you like, um, you know, like the ins and outs, it's all makeup. It's not, you don't really, like they have a hair course, but it's more styling. But this is like solely focused on makeup, like in depth. So it's like really, really good. So I just I got this liner all over my hands. No problem. I'll check comments. Ilana is saying, can we talk about Sheldon's no makeup makeup for a second? Flawless. Yeah, well, you know, I woke up like this. Right. I think I'm wearing like a touch of powder, maybe. <laughs> I feel like Ilana might be someone you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have hey, a Ilana. Hunch. <laughs> <laughs> like that? Yeah. I went to college with Lana, and she was there also when I went to like makeup school. Oh, uh, really? Mm-hmm. I was just guessing, but that was a good guess. I was a good guess. The other way? 
feel like I'm a very good uh, victim Listener. here. You no, are. I mean like because I'm not moving my eye at all. I feel like that yeah. I'm, it's very impressive. No, it is impressive. I gotta say, some people like they're really sensitive by their like eyes and everything, so they're like they like yeah. you know, freak out and everything. Wait, I'm so what's like your worst makeup story? Like you and do like weddings and like yeah, things. Yeah, um, I I once had this bride. Who, um, she was like sitting down my chair, I'm doing her makeup like on her wedding day. And during the trial, like things went fine. But, um, she was just like extremely, extremely anxious. And she popped like, like three Xanaxes, like throughout no. my thing. Yeah. And she, I had to keep three like Xanaxes? stopping and starting and stopping and starting. And I was like, it's, you know, and it, you have to like put a smile on. It's like, oh, yeah, it's okay. They were stopping like, like the 15th time. It's your like, day. <laughs> yeah, totally. Exactly. So she literally kept stopping. And then she kept like crying, crying. And, uh, and I had to keep fixing up what was being cried off. And then she literally threw up on me. No, she didn't. On me. On you? I nearly died. Was she in her I dress? I nearly died. I, like, stepped back. I literally got, like, a little bit on my, my pants and my shoes. Literally nearly died. I, and, and, like, and, and she was, like, the first one I was doing also. So it's, like, I had other people to work on, too. And I was, like, I, I didn't even know how to, like, I didn't even know how to react. I was, like, freaking out. Was she in her dress down. already? Uh, she was uh, not in her dress yet. So okay. I guess that was good. That's a positive. Yeah. But, um... It was. Was crazy. she drinking? Is that is that? Uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe like maybe she was. Maybe a combination of Xanax and stuff. Honestly, I don't know. But it was. That's terrible. It was pretty bad. Yeah. I hope that doesn't happen to me. Yeah, no, they're not. I heard you that once. Not doing it again. Hmm. I feel like my eyes tearing a little bit. Yeah. Can I'm you see that? Someone is asking, "How do you learn to do eyeshadow if you have no eye hand coordination, like me?" Um, how to do eyeshadow. Um, with, like, no hand-eye coordination? What do you mean by, like... I don't know. What, you, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by, by, by no hand-eye coordination? Like, I mm-hmm. feel like she means... Eyeshadow or eyeliner? Well, I can't look right now. Okay, you can look. I'll tell you. So I actually have to fix she up She said eyeliner. eyeshadow. So I feel like she means, like, she visions something in her head, but she doesn't know how to get it, like, on her eye kind of thing. Um... It's really just about experimenting. The more you like play around, more experience, with, like, like yeah. doing more. Just like the more you, the more you like play around um, with like shadows and stuff. The more you're really gonna learn. It's really all about like practice, and it, it, the key is like just practice. blending. Like, and if you if you think you're not blends enough, just keep blending and blending until like your hand hurts, literally. Um, I'm just grabbing this little bit here. Miriam is saying that she gets eyeshadow on her brow. On her brow, so eye primer is I've, really going to help with that. Ah, I was going to say, I feel like you're going in the wrong direction. But. No, it's definitely definitely going to help with that. Look down. Um, what are you doing Because now? primers what are going to help it prevent stuff? from doing And this is just a little bit of embryo lace. It's like a moisturizer, but it can also remove makeup. Ah, and because right. the line out here got a little too right. thick. So because gonna, I was laughing at your yeah. throwing up and eating Xanax story. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, no, it's fine. That's what happened. When I laugh, sometimes I cry. Does that happen to you? Uh, like my eyes time. tear. Like if I like if I'm like dying of laughter, then right. like I'll totally like. I'll Even start, if like, I'm not dying of laughter, laughter, like my eyes want to laugh more than I actually. Laugh. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we're just lucky like that. I feel like also like now it's like springtime and like all the like you know pollen in the air and everything. Right. Like oh my, my God, allergies I've been have been so, so bad. allergic. Oh my I've God. Been allergic I've been, to everything. I've been like dying. Like, literally, it's been so crazy. It got to the point where I thought maybe I had a cold. Like, I wasn't sure if I had a cold or I had allergies or what's going on. Oh, my God, yeah. No, it's been, like, really, it's been a crazy thing. Allergies are the worst. So far. Just starting. It's already crazy. Which is another reason why waterproof mascara is a positive. Mm-hmm. Sorry. It's okay. Just want to just do away as much as possible. Just looking. Okay, what else do we have here? If you guys have any comments for Sheldon or any comments about Facetune or questions, uh, let us know. Don't forget to share and like and all those things. All those fun things. Yes. And, and follow on love. Snapchat. And follow us on Facetune. Snapchat yeah. right there. There. Right there. You see <laughs> it? Follow us on Snapchat right there. Find us and follow us and... We'll give you, like, behind-the-scenes stuff you won't get anywhere else, so. Ooh. And you can also snap us, and we'll answer you, which is pretty cool. I don't know if other brands actually answer you, but we definitely will. Yeah, you guys are really, like, like personal on your social media. Yeah, we're very user-oriented. Yeah, that's really good. It's true. Like you were saying, a lot of brands aren't like that. I feel like this is a bad angle for me. I can see myself on the screen over there. Yeah. Look a little bit more to your head. This isn't a double chin, but it kind of looks like one from there. 
Or is it? What? Or is it double chin? No, it's not. No, it's not. You definitely don't have a double chin. Sorry, at all. I'm being a girl. <laughs> Look down. This one area that got messed up is starting to drive me crazy. We can move on and come back. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to do a little bit of blush. Can you use this blush? It's um, it's NARS. It's actually NARS Orgasm, but it's like a perfect uh, pinky, corally um, shade and has like gold reflex in it. So it's actually going to help highlight the cheekbones too, uh, to accentuate your cheekbones. It's going to look really pretty. And it's a great spring color. Smile nicely. Just pull some of your neck. I have very big cheeks. Yeah, you do. No, you have really good cheeks. Everyone wants oh, these cheeks. Good. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Show it. You see how many people are, like, fill their Stop cheeks it. so they can look like yours? <laughs> they fill their cheeks. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? I know that you have very good cheeks. Do you have a favorite makeup brand, or is it just... Everyone like... asks me that. I feel like every brand has their, their good products. I feel like every brand, like, some brands are really good for foundation. Some brands are really good for eyeshadow. Like, every brand has, like, their niche, I guess, in the market. Yeah. Um, so, like, my kit, I use, like, so many different brands. It's really just about, like, you know, what, like... Finding the best is. products yeah. in each Exactly. Brand. Like, trial and error. Years of trial and error. Still happens. I always, like, I'm always trying out new products because I always want to find, like, you know, what's, like, the best one or, like, you know... And always, like, building up my kit. I never right. have enough makeup. And then I'm just going to go in with this uh, highlighter. It's, like, a shimmer brick. Just rolling all the colors together. If you guys have any more comments, don't forget to write them below. I'm reading them as as you write them, or like two seconds after you write them. So, if you want an instant answer about makeup or about Facetune, you can just write it there below. Don't forget. <laughs> this is an interesting brush you're using. Yeah, it's like just like a fan brush. It's a real. I like it for highlighting because it really will like it won't pick up too much product, so you won't end up with like too much on it. And it also just like really blends out everything really nicely and gives you like a seamless finish, which we all want. Yeah. Seamless. Yeah. Okay. Does that dry like instantly? That um. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Look at it for a second. Typically, I like to use, like, liquid liners, but I like to use, like, um, it's, like, a felt-tip liner um, just for, like, you know, touching up and, like, fixing up or, like, sometimes just going to, like, get rid of the lashes because it's very, like, fine. And then I'm just going to grab a little bit of this yellow, like, banana-y type color. I'm just going to do that. Someone's asking, and Nicole, hi, Nicole, thank you for okay. watching. She's asking what foundation did you use? It looks so glowy. Um, I well, it's uh, part of it's the primer that I used. Um, this is like the YSL uh, Touche Clap Blur Primer. Um, it gives like YSL that YSL means Yves Saint Laurent. If yeah, you Yves Saint Laurent. That. And um, oh, yeah. and then I also I use like the Bobbi Brown Foundation Stick, uh, which I really like because it gives like a nice like luminous glow without being like too dewy. So like even me, like that's what I'm wearing too, and I have like um oily like to combination skin, and I love it. It's just such a good, um, it's like just like a stick, and it, so you can use it like on the go, you can use it as even concealer, you can use it as foundation, and it's like you could do a super sheer coverage, you could build it up to like a totally like full coverage if you want that look, and um, it's amazing. I love it. Definitely come in there. And what should we do next? Hmm. Uh, we also have Miriam who is asking, she said that she, so many brushes, what do you recommend for someone who doesn't have the money or expertise? Um... In the brush sense. Hmm. Um, crown brushes are really, really good brushes. Um, crown brushes, they're like a professional uh, makeup brand. Um, they have very, very, very well-priced brushes, like really cheap actually sometimes. And, um, and, they're, and they're really good quality. Also, Sephora has um, some really good brush sets that are a good value. Um, and even some drugstore brands like Eco Tools makes um, really good brushes I like. Um, what Real are, Techniques is my favorite drugstore brand. What for brushes, brushes do you need? Like, what are your basic? Like, if you can only afford to buy two brushes, what brushes? If you're stranded on an island and you yeah. can only bring three brushes with you, what will you bring? Um, the Bobbi Brown Sheer Powder Brush. Um, it kind of looks sort of like this, but like it's a little bit more dense um, with more hairs. But it's like the perfect brush because like using a brush like this, it's, it's the same exact shape. It basically, you can use this brush for setting your under eyes. You can use it for bronzer. You can use it for highlighter. You can use it for blush. You can literally use it for everything. So like it's really kind of it's like, like a one and done perfect. brush. Yeah. yeah. Um, so definitely that one. And then like a simple like um, maybe like an eyeshadow brush like this, like a tapered one. 
Um, so what you could do on your crease, we could also do it all over your lid. Um, and also like an angled brush. This way you could use it for like your eyebrows or eyeliner or under your eyes or like, you know, anything like that. And then I'm just going to go in with like this flesh toned uh, nude liner in the inside of her waterline. Um, that's really going to help open up her eyes and uh, make her look more like bright and awake and fresh. Turn down a little bit and look out for me. Okay. Thank you. Does it feel weird? Yeah, a little bit. Is that right? So it's like, like caterpillar is crawling on my eye. It's like butt is in my eye. Yeah. But you're really good about this. Some people like they they freak out. Like yeah, I freak out if someone tries doing it in my eye. I feel like that. Oh helps. yeah, totally helps. Totally helps. I'm very used to touching mm -hmm. my eye. Yeah. yeah, it definitely also helps from like the eyes tearing from when you put stuff on your uh, waterline. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Someone is asking if we can go back to eyelashes and talk about products for growth of eyelashes. This is actually something I want to know. Awesome. Yeah. I have very short eyelashes. You can totally tell the difference between my fake eyelash and my not fake. Um, new lash, like I was, I was saying before, um, new lash. Um, I've used um them like a couple times. They they really helps. Like I I didn't believe it at first. You really do see a difference. Like what what happens? You put it on your eyelashes. Yeah, you put it like at like the base of your lashes. Um, I think it was like at night, and um, you have to wait. Like, like you're not gonna see instant results right. like overnight. But um, it really does help um, grow your eyelashes, um, or if you have any sparseness. Um, also, as we age, um, our eyelashes and our eyebrows get more sparse. I feel like so, I've noticed the sparse day, yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean to. We all do. So I feel like, so using a product like that, they have one for eyebrows too. It, like, it really helps to just like, you know, grow, um, grow your lashes or grow your eyebrows. Also, Latisse. But Latisse, you have to be careful with, because if it gets anywhere else in the face, it could grow here or there, and you don't want that. You want to end up with like some range of like, you know, yeah, cheek like hairs. Yeah, like a patch of cheek hair. That's terrible. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. I don't think anybody wants that. For sure not. I'm just going to use some mascara. I'm just going to do a quick light coat because we're going to be using false lashes. But you still want to do a light coat so it really will help uh, blend the lashes. And it's also going to help curl the lashes so the um, the false lashes will stay nicely. So you do place. mascara okay. and then false lashes. I never thought about that. Yeah, I do mascara and then false lashes. And then sometimes I'll even go in again with the mascara just to lightly, just to help blend the false lash with the natural lash. How are you doing with the mascara? You're good. Yeah. Your eyes aren't tearing or anything. No. You put on a lot of mascara compared to what I put on. No, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm using like just the ends of the brush just to get ah, each individual doing, like, thing. Each lash yeah. Yeah. Like that. Look down the other way. Yeah. That way. That way. Yeah. No, and then I also am really trying to get into the root of the lash, so it's like you know really thick by the base of the lash. Otherwise, you'll have like that gap between, right? Um, and then you'll see like skin. And that happens. Too. Yeah, that happens to me. Or like they stick together. Mm hmm. Yeah, the clumpiness. Yeah. A good way of helping that too is like if you see like I have a scare in my hand, I always wipe it off the back of my hand because it will help. Do you when you this product when off. you take it like out of the tube, you wipe it off? Yeah, because it always like all mascaras like that's why a lot of people think oh old mascaras cl like clump on me like. All mascaras, you really have to like wipe off a little bit in the back of your hands or like a tissue. I always do it on tissue. Is yeah. That bad? No, no, that's no. good. I'm saying just to get like that excess so you don't have too much like goopiness because right. then it will, that will totally like, you know, make your lashes stick together and all. And we don't want that for sure now. So we're going to go in with false lash, this one. Someone is asking a question about false lashes. Mm -hmm. Hold on, where did it go? Mimi is asking, how long do you wait for the glue to dry um, on the lashes before you put them on? I actually asked about like too. thirty seconds, like just enough to where it starts getting like a little bit tacky. Um, otherwise, if you don't if you don't wait long enough, then they'll be like too sliding, then they'll end up like sliding everywhere, and then it ends up being like a really quick uh, disaster. Um, so about like thirty seconds. I usually like like you'll see like I I'll apply the glue to the lash, and then I usually just like wave it in the air and like you know swing it around to try to help it like. Speed up, you know, the drying process. I don't know if it actually helps speed up the drying process, but, you know. It feels like it does. That's exactly. Fine. As long as in my head it, like, works, that's fine. <laughs> Sarah's asking us if we know what new tools Facetune is going to get soon. Please, with lots of ease. So I actually mm. do know a new new tool that Facetune is getting soon, but I can't tell you what it is. But, but. I want to know. I'm like, I got cool. all excited. It's a fun tool. It's a, it's a fun tool. So I can mm. give you that as a hint, if that helps you. A fun tool. More from the glitter tool? Coming to soon. I feel like glitter is more of a glam tool. I wouldn't yeah. categorize it as a fun tool, although it can be fun as many so aspects. Fun. Love glitter. Um, so that's your answer, Sarah. 
So now I just put the glue in the lash, and I'm just gonna like swing it around a little bit like this, just to help get it a little tacky, and then I'm gonna put on her lashes. I feel like if people saw this like cavemen, this happening, they would like, Be like imagine their reaction. You wouldn't think so, except for like in the ancient times, they use like different berries and stuff um, for like cheeks and for lips. They used to like grind up like coal, I think, um, to make yeah, like you know or scarabs, yeah. right? Yeah. Egyptians yeah. used to exactly, do that. exactly. Look up, look down. down. And do you have to put it on with like tweezers or can you do it with your finger? You can use your fingers. I like to use like a tool like this. Because it's more like exact. Precise, yeah. Of course, now that's giving me a problem. And then just like to squeeze down, head back a little bit, look down. Just really pressing her natural lashes and the false lash together so it really brings it down all the way to the base of her lashes and it will really help blend the two together so it could look as seamless and natural as possible. This is like one eyelash, it's like swinging to the side. <laughs> okay, look at me. Crazy, it's like extra weight on your eyelashes. Yeah, you don't no. think about it. And then like right, when it first was on, it's like, oh, it feels super weird. Yeah. But after but like no, a little bit, you get so used yeah, to it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. My right eyelash that you put on before feels like totally fine. The left one is like weird. Yeah. Do you guys see the I'm difference now? Camera. Where is the camera here? Can you tell the difference? You can see my half lipstick that I can see. That's not a mistake. <laughs> it's like a half lip. <laughs> People who are turning in right now are like, why? Like this like, is your makeup you tutorial? Seriously. You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna do a little bit of mascara, chin down a little bit, and then look up for me. So you're also painting on individually? Yeah, just like on the bottom. I just light, lightly like flick at. Just a little lightly to find those lashes. I don't do bottom mascara, like, I don't do a lot of it. Yeah, I usually uh, don't do bottom yeah. mascara. Yeah, sometimes I don't like it, but, like, if, I, if I'm doing false lashes, then I do. This yeah. way, if it, otherwise it'll be super heavy on top, yeah. and you won't have enough on the bottom. It'll look like you have nothing in, like, pictures and stuff. So do all celebrities have fake eyelashes? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure? Totally. I mean, unless, like, you know, like, someone like Alicia Keys, who doesn't wear makeup um, anymore, um, she doesn't wear false lashes, she doesn't wear any makeup, but uh, most celebrities, especially on like red carpets and stuff, they're all wearing false lashes. Yeah. Um, for pictures and videos, it makes like a huge difference. So yeah. like Even all now, brides, I, I can see them. my. Yeah, people uh, are like, it's definitely so necessary, but it really like no, it I feel really like, like a look. new woman actually. Right. With these eyelashes. It's like it literally. That's what takes like the look to like the next level, yeah. like for sure. Okay, I'm just gonna grab a lip liner. I'm using. Someone's asking, how do I avoid styes? When using fake lashes. So, um, thank you for watching, Julie. Yeah, thank thanks, you for your Julie. question. Um, you always, like, the thing is, you always want to be really careful with eye products. Mascara, you're really supposed to change every three months, um, maximum every six months, because um, anything with the eyes, you get bacteria in it. So, um, eyeliners, any brushes, if you use, like, a pot eyeliner, all your brushes, you want to make sure that they're clean, because otherwise it will harvest bacteria, and especially, like, things that are, like, um, goopy, like mascara or even eyeliner, like, it really harvests bacteria in it. So after a while, like, you want to throw it out. The false lashes, if you're using reusable false lashes, you really want to gently, like, clean it maybe with, like, a little bit of isopropyl alcohol um, just to make sure it kills, like, any bacteria at the base of them. But um, hygiene really is, like, number one for sure. So you're saying the, the blue eliner I have from high school I should probably throw out. If my high school? Yes. <laughs> I'm so, I told oh my you my God. OC story. Oh my God, yes. No, you need to throw that away. Yeah, right. I, but it's nostalgic. I know, but do you wear that blue eyeliner? I thought you were just saying you had it. There's you wear it? There's a chance I might it, wear okay, it on, yeah. right now and then. When you're feeling your OC like moment, you're like, yeah. it's my time. Yeah. Rocking out that blue liner. Exactly. <laughs> then I guess I could buy a new one. Right? Yeah. I'll buy you a new one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just filling it in her lips with this lip liner from Make It Up Cosmetics. Then I'm gonna grab. So, are there any? Since we're talking about um, like spring and spring glam look, are there any like trends that are like super popular this spring? Um, just like a lot of like corals. Um, 
a lot of uh, like blues, like turquoise, um, right. like more like an aqua here. blue. Yeah. yeah, all those kinds of things. It's just also like being really like bronzed, really glowy. You really want right, that like, like radiant skin. Exactly, because you're going in from winter. Winter's more of like that matte look. Like everything is more like bolder, like deeper colors. Um, but then spring, it's like, you know, it's starting to get more light, very like, you want that like fresh, glowy, dewy, you just want to look like overall, like just healthy and fun. So it's like, you know, it's spring, it's fun, getting ready for summer, the weather's yeah. getting nicer. So that's why you don't want to wear like too heavy your foundation or anything. Just keep things nice and light. And then I'm just going to go in with this little color over here for her lips. The top of that liner I used. Oh, sorry. Smile for me. So what are your guys' like favorite like makeup like you know trends or like what do you like to change up your makeup routine for like spring? Like what do you like yeah, to do? Yeah, tell us what you guys are doing now for spring. What's new? It's hard to talk while I'm getting my makeup done. Sorry. I'm always like curious like um, everyone like does like their makeup differently or like they all like like different stuff or some people don't even change their makeup year round. So it's always like I always it's love always like hearing like what Yeah, tell us do. your makeup secrets. It's like the one thing whenever I like have a new client, like I'm, every time I do the makeup, I'm like, like so, how do you do your makeup on like a typical like daily basis? Because I always am like curious, like how, you know, because everyone does like their own thing, and yeah. some people spend like an hour, some people spend like five minutes, you know. It's so personal makeup. That's one of the things I really like about it, because you could you could use makeup just to really you know lightly enhance like you know your features, but you could use it to completely transform yourself into like another person. So it's just the the power of makeup is just absolutely incredible. Yeah, it is pretty insane. It's pretty much like Facetune for real life, or yeah. Facetune is virtual. But like makeup. Facetune really is what takes your like makeups like the next. And level. then you can use it together. Yeah, there's exactly. a picture of me that I was doing uh, beforehand that we shot mm -hmm. um, that we edited in Facetune and it came out really cool. You can see it now there. Close your mouth for a sec. This nice like pop of coral on the lips, but still very soft and not like a super super opaque like crazy shade. Right. And then do you... So people are saying glowy skin is their favorite Love glowy spring skin. makeup trend. Also, we have a question from Alana asking, "What's a good hey, matte Alana. lipstick that doesn't dry out or chap your lips?" That's actually a very good question. Like a like a liquid lipstick, um, it's really hard to find like a good like matte lipstick that doesn't dry out your lips. But I know that uh, Nars has like these um like they're like kind of like crayons, um that they have like matte ones and they're you really say really crayons warm. like you're from the Midwest. I am from the yeah. Midwest. I'm from Chicago. Yeah. I know everyone crayons. makes fun of me. I like say crayons. Yeah. My friends also the word salad because they say it, it's very like oh, yeah. ad in the Midwest. Everyone's like, "What do you want to order a salad? salad? What's that?" I'm like, "Go away." Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Crayons is a dead giveaway. Totally. Anything with like ah. Yeah. yeah. Whenever I say dad, it's like. Oh, you say dad. Mm hmm. One of those. Dead giveaway. Totally. But when I was in, like, when I moved to New York, all my friends in, like, college would always make fun of my Midwest accent. And then when I was in my public speaking class, we learned that the Midwest accent the, the most, most popular right. speaking American I've English. And I stood up. I was like, thank you very much. No, I've also heard that Texas is actually the, the, really? the, the best southern state. Accent? The least, like, accented state. Oh, like, really? if you go to, like, northern Texas, even, they, like, don't really have that much of an accent. Like, it's not that's super funny. No, that's southern. true, because I feel like a lot of my friends who are from Texas, they don't have, like, heavy, heavy southern accents. My friends who are from, like, Georgia, oh, my God, they totally do. Look at I love it. I love a southern accent. Yeah, I also do. When I, I grew up in New York and I went to college in Maryland and when I was a waitress at like a restaurant and they had like all different kinds of like hot, now I don't say it, but all kinds of hot sauces. Mm -hmm. so, so, I used to, so, so we have to ask for like extra hot sauce. And like so, I would really, and I, I never knew I had an accent until I got there, and I, and they were like calling me sauce, and I'm like, what do you sauce. mean? I don't say it weird, and now now I understand. New Yorkers also have an accent. Totally, but New Yorkers think that their accent's the right way of saying. I never knew weird. that that there was a such thing it's as like a New York accents? accent until I left. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I didn't know for seventeen years. Oh my God. And I'm just gonna go in with this like shade over here, just like by her inner corner, just to make it pop. And highlight it. Mm. 
What are you doing there? I wasn't listening. It's just like, I'm like highlighting the inner corner. So it really like brightens okay. it up. It helps like, you know, make your eyes look more like bright, fresh and awake. But it's like a fun color because it's sort of like this iridescent, like, you know, teal. Right. So it's like a nice highlight, but it still has that like, it still goes with like that blue family, like that whole vibe. We were doing before. I'm going to put a little bit in the other eye too. And then, yeah. so we're almost done. We're going to take a picture of a face tune soon. Yeah. We're, we're about to be done. Awesome. I'm getting a little antsy. I have to. Uh, okay. That's it? I didn't know. Mm-hmm. It's so coming so soon. Yeah. How does it look? Let's see how it's going. I think it's going pretty well. Let me just blend the... Can you guys inside. see? Are my sides even? It's on chin right now. I have a mirror for me. Look down for me. So if you guys have any questions... Who else? Camille, thank you for joining Camille. You're saying something that I don't know what it means. But if you ask again, then I can't see you. And for those of you guys just tuning in, we're about to edit an awesome spring glam makeup look and face tune. So we're gonna show you how to make like it look even better. Yeah. Because sometimes when you take a picture, the details kind of get lost. And the totally. camera. Also lighting. Is um, also lighting is a huge thing. Also, if you're not okay. using like a super professional camera, uh, it might be hard to keep all the details or like a macro lens if you're using an iPhone lens and without like an add-on, um, it's a little bit difficult. So totally. we're going to show you how to do it. So totally. should we do that now? Yeah, should we? Sure. Okay. So you're, let's start. You're going to take a selfie of you. Yeah. Take a selfie of me. Try not to take one of myself. camera we're gonna go yeah actually let's do the facing camera okay okay so, so look okay. at the camera like with your eyes but like don't turn your head that much it's, you can like now yeah keep it your head a little bit angled back that way and my head angled Hold on, I know, i'm pretending like hair. i'm a photographer and i'm <laughs> so not my sister's a photographer but i'm not a photographer okay wait I have to fix my hair. And then I can smize at Okay, the wait. Camera. So where am I? I'm gonna go smize. We were talking about that last yeah. week. Okay. So <laughs> look like this. Look into the camera. Yeah, but into like, the camera. like think like, oh hey, I didn't realize you were there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but exactly. And then slowly like look down the other way. Like, oh, what did I get there? Exactly. That way. Yeah. Oh, hold on. I see that one. Should we? Should we take another one? Yeah, I look like I feel like I'm suspicious of you. Well, I hope you're not. Not that crazy, okay? You can smile. Okay, smile. Yeah. And look at the camera. It's very hard to have someone take a picture of you. I feel like with selfies these days, it's like... Totally. I know exactly what I want to look like. I don't want anyone else to take my picture. Yeah, totally. So basically, this is my good side, and I have a space in my tooth somewhere, which I like to hide. So keep that in mind while you take a picture of me. Good? Uh, Yes. Okay, yeah. let's just pick one. Where do you think that one? I don't know. I don't love that one. Let's see. I know, I'm not the best photographer. Okay, I'm sorry. This one's good if I wasn't so creepy. I'm a little creepy looking. <laughs> okay, let's do this one. I think this one's yeah, okay. Gosh. Yeah? Yeah. No, wait, hold no, on. No, this one. No, no I this one. Yeah, no, totally. Okay, so this is the other totally. one. All right, let's start by cropping because I feel like we have a lot of extra stuff in the background there so we'll start Ooh, yeah. cropping maybe like here although i want to keep my flower crown in i love the flower crown right it's very like coachella it was a good a good touch okay so we'll start with smooth i feel like smooth is sort of life the way to start so let's start by smoothing um just a little bit we can also zoom in even though wearing makeup, it doesn't mean you don't have to smooth. And you can also lower the intensity. Like here, I think it's a little much. Maybe I'll do like around here, a little over the halfway point. Um, so that's good. What else can we do? So we'll do details maybe on the eyes. And with Facetune too, you don't have to, like you don't have to press the check mark and get out. If you're in retouch, you just can move from one tool to another. So oh, really? I'll add, yeah, I'll add some details here. See, I love that. Just like highlights the left, like in a second. Um, what also else? do a little bit on your cheekbone. It will really make the yeah. highlight over there pop. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right. You can tell the difference. I love that. 
Um, okay, so we have that. Let's go to glow. Sort of do some glow. Let's leave the yellow line. It's a little too much. I feel like that's good. Yeah. What does the before look like? That's the before. No, mm. actually, I don't know if I like glow here. I feel like it's maybe there. Maybe I just did too much intensity. Yeah. So, okay. So we'll do glow, glow there. And what else? I want to do... I think that's it for these tools. I want to go into tools. And I think... Okay, first of all, I want to make my nose just a tiny bit smaller because well, it's not... Nice. No, but it's actually not that big. Doesn't it look bigger than usual? No, I think it's only because like, the light's hitting it from one side, so it exactly. kind of like, cancels out that shadow. Also, maybe... A little bit here, like a tiny bit smaller. I feel mm -hmm. like that's yeah. That's how I look in real life, right? Mm -hmm. Totally. Okay, so that's how we all look in real life, right? <laughs> so we have that, and then I think with paint we can add, like we can take the glitter brush and add some yes. like love glitter, glitter, like to make like like that just makes it look really mm -hmm. cool. Like it's it can be subtle or like more. Ah, uh, see, we have kind of bed lighting here with this shadow. Mm hmm. Maybe see, but even so just that one cool. little thing. Oh yeah, that looks really cool. I'll add some more. Here. Oh my, yeah, I love that. So you can see the difference. Really makes it like pop. And then maybe we'll do some, like on the lips, like just like yeah, just gold. like in the center. Mm -hmm. In the center, we'll start. Looks so pretty. It gives that nice like highlight. Kind of want to do it everywhere, even though. <laughs> right, I'm telling like, you, glitter. Like, like the second you start, addicting. it's like it's hard to like come down. Totally addicting. So wait, I'll erase a little because I got it up here. Okay, cool. So Love you can tool. see. So, yeah, I think that's pretty good. What else can we do? I think maybe adjust. We'll add a little more color because I look a tiny bit washed to here. That's so much better. Um, mm -hmm. What else can we do here? Ah, eyes. So something I really love with eyes is doing details. Mm -hmm. And you just kind of like really make your eyes pop. Like look at the difference. Ooh. And then wow. lens. If you want, fun. you don't have to, but I kind of like doing, like, just making my eyes a little mm. lighter. Also, I think it looks good with, like, the blue contrast. Totally. If you guys see Love that. that. So, maybe make that a little smaller. Yeah, it looks really good. So, that's pretty cool. Um, what else do we have? I feel like it might filter. be better for filter, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, filter, what filter should we do? Do you guys have any ideas? You can... Tell us what filters you think I'm looking at right now. What are your right favorite now. filters? What are your favorite filters? Seriously, what is your favorite filter? Do you have a favorite filter? I like the no filter filters a lot. Mm -hmm. um, let's see how they look. Uh, I don't know about that. Voyage, maybe. Ah, I kind of like this Ooh, one. Yeah. A very dramatic look. Totally. Let's try Royal. Nope, yeah. I don't like that one. I'm also kind of into the gossip filter. Where's the gossip filter? Gossip filter is a free filter, um, so anyone can use it, even if you're not VIP. Let's see, which one do we like the best? I like that one. The one with the other option. Yeah, let's see. Maybe this one. Mm -hmm. Actually, I don't like it right now. I feel like <laughs> the lighting is different. Let's go back to no filter. I think this one's cute. I think maybe here. Yeah. This one. Yeah, I like that one. Okay. It's nice and like soft. Yeah. So I think I'm ready. I just have to check mark. So basically, if you guys are just tuning in, this is my original makeup selfie with the makeup tutorial. And this is Enhanced with Facetune. So you can see how much a difference it makes. Like I still look like, fine, but this is like ready for Instagram. Like it's super. It's like the icing on the cake. Yeah. It's just like a more polished look. Like there's no reason not to. It's not like I don't look like this. I look like this but yeah. like when you take a photo you know with your iphone or you have bad lighting totally. or it's like sometimes you'll get like that perfect selfie but it's like oh but like the lighting it is kind right of like, like you can texture, see here so like my just, so there's know. sort of a shadow here totally. so but we added the glitter and it like just in the lens and it just really makes like my eye pop so totally it really brings attention to detail for so sure. that's um that is the end result here man i love that and uh if you guys have any questions this you have like about half a second to ask them so ask them now <laughs> and uh, of course follow us on snapchat right here we're a facetune app and we are gonna give you some cool behind the scenes stuff and tips so definitely follow us you can snap us we'll snap you back and uh and that's basically it uh
So I think uh, should we do that any more? I know. Should we do more? What What else can we do? I don't know. We can, can add a little bit use. more color. Add a little more color. Mm-hmm. I feel you like think, um. You like it? I think I okay, kind of cool. like this. Yeah. I think the picture came out really good. Yeah. No, I like that picture. Also, like if you look at the before compared to the after. Yeah. It's just so much better. Like, there's no way that people who are mm-hmm. makeup artists, like, or like beauty bloggers, experts, that they don't use face. Like, oh, yeah. There's just no way, no right? Way. No way. Because like, you can't get too. like mm-hmm. this is fine. Yeah. But this is crazy. Like this totally. is awesome. It's okay. Just like finishing touches. <laughs> so basically, thank you guys for watching. Yeah, thanks so it much. It was so nice. Thank you for your comments, and uh, and we'll be back soon. Yeah, Don't forget sure. to share and like and leave us all your love below. If you guys have any questions, you can still ask them and uh, and we'll answer them. Yeah, follow us on social media. Yeah, follow us on social yeah. media. This is Sheldon. I'm Stav. Yeah. See you guys. <laughs> See you later. Yeah, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in.